Hey guys, what's going on? It's JD here. Um, I'm doing my first sort of vlog video, uh, which is well overdue. Um, I thought I'd just do a quick video uh, saying hi because I haven't. I've been thinking about what to do with my first sort of vlog video, and um, and really come up with it. So this is it. Um, just winging it as usual. <laughs> um, I thought I'd just take two seconds to plug the tour I'm about to go on with my band Beth Blade and Beautiful Disasters, uh, which if my movie maker, uh, movie maker, uh, iMovie skills are up to it, I shall put a quick video about ha of us playing. Yeah, that's the shit right there. Whoa, my camera skills are shit. <laughs> um, but yeah. We're about to go on tour. We're going on a seven, eight day tour with Mark Mendoza, um, who is this fine looking chap in the poster by Ha. Um, Mark Mendoza has played with loads of people. Uh, he's played for Ted Nugent, uh, Finn Lizzie, Black Star Riders, uh, White Snake, all these sort of people. He's actually one of the first people I ever saw live, so this is a real sort of weird experience for me. But um, yeah. Basically, we're going on tour with him uh, across the UK. We start in Chesterfield on the 10th, uh, and then we go up to Edinburgh uh, to Bannermans, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, then to Glasgow, then London, then Eversham, then Wakefield, then Cardiff, back home to Fuel. Uh, <laughs> And then to Bournemouth, which is our final day. So yeah, it's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, if if you're about or we come in anywhere near you, then please drop down. It's going to be a hell of a show for both bands. We've also got loads of support as well, um, which are also going to check out some of them so far. <laughs> They're pretty good. I'm quite nervous at the moment. And excuse me while I sort of abuse my cat for wrecking my wall. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought I'd just show you quickly uh, what I'm taking out with me. Uh, I'm taking my Marshall JVM uh, two hundred five, which Soren Anderson is also going to be playing too. Mark Mendoza's um, guitarist, who I'm also looking, well, really looking forward to meeting, as he's an awesome guitarist. Um, this is my PV four twelve. I believe it's a PV Windsor cab. Now I'm not 100% because this was bought in uh, the auction PV Den in 2015 and there wasn't really much written down about it so honestly no idea as to what it is. If you've got one and you know what it is and what speakers is inside it then please uh, drop me a comment and let me know because I'd, lo I'd love to know basically. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's going out, and then going down to my board, um, I am taking out with me this time my Jim Dunlop uh, Crybaby, original Crybaby. Um, I never normally use this one because I'm not I'm not a huge fan of the switching thing. I usually use a Morley uh, Bad Horsey Wah, but um, I've decided to go with sound over uh, technicality this time and uh, take the Crybaby out. Um, I am also taking this EVH MXR Phase 90, uh, which I'm not I'm not going to use that much. But I seen uh, I seen a band uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, whose guitarist used a Bad Monkey, which is what I also uh, use sometimes for a boost. And this, and basically when he wanted to thicken up his solo a bit halfway through, when he go down to sort of the low chubby sort of notes. Um, you'd have this in the lower setting and uh, just engage it and it would it sort of thicken everything out and it was really nice but um, yeah I got, I've got i gone a bit more wacky and um, got a bit more of the sort of wave going in it and it's on the script setting so yeah um, also I'm using TC Electronic Mini Spark which is awesome uh, it beefs everything up quite nice uh, it's also got a momentary switch as well, so there's a couple of little bits uh, in some songs where I just do a quick little noodle and um, 
sometimes stamping going diddly diddly diddly, you know, like that can sort of fuck me over sometimes. So um, it's nice to just be able to sort of rest my foot on it while I'm playing and then take it off and know it's just completely cut everything. Um, yeah, and then we've got the TU3, which is standard. I don't go anywhere without this because obviously being in tune is the most vital thing. Uh, newest edition by Hya is the Line 6 uh, Wireless Relay G30. Um, it's my first proper sort of outing with a wireless pack uh, playing live. So what I've done as a backup is I've added this uh, Behringer ABY, uh, the AB100 I think, I can't really see it underneath the tape. But um, basically what I've done, I've got it on the 2-in, 1-out setting. And I've got the relay going into uh, the first uh, input, and then the second input, I'm just running a uh, standard 20-foot um, Fender custom shop lead, uh, just in case anything should go wrong, and I can just go boom, and it goes straight to the lead, which will have my backup plugged into it ready, or it'll be hooked over the mic stand, ready for me to grab. And then, finally, I'm only using this on one song, but it's key. And it's the TC Flashback, and I'm using this on a song we do called Poster Girl for Pain. And it's a really, really lush delay. I've, I'm so happy I got this. It's honestly one of the best pushes I've made in forever. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, coming back to moi. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much for a rig and a couple of guitars, uh, which I'm about to restring. Ready to go is my PRS Custom 22 there's my baby red there this is my sort of main guitar for pretty much everything because it's so versatile um, with this one, this was the 2001 CE model and it was the first one with the 5 way selector rotary switch so basically it splits the coils, does all the jangly shit blah 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 which all of you probably know about already but yeah Thought I'd just show you, and in the secret pocket, oh, all that normal shit. Don't, don't ask me why there's Jägermeister in my case, that's coming out. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty much, uh, whoa, fuzz, that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, so come check us out in tour, man. Seriously, it's going to be a really good, really good couple of gigs, so I'm really looking forward to it, and so is the rest of the band. But as far as my channel's going, um, I will be putting a load more videos up this year. That's my New Year's resolution, is to put more fucking videos up. So, I'm going to try my best to do that. Um, failing that, I do pretty much all the YouTube video work for Beth Blade and Beautiful Disasters, which is the band I'm going on tour with. So, if by some weird reason you're missing me, go over there. Check their videos out. I'm also going to be posting those videos on my Facebook page too, which you can go and like. Uh, it's Jack JD Davis UK musician, I believe, at the moment. In case I've changed it, but I shall post a link below. Um, there's also a couple of shop demos coming up with uh, Bandbox. Uh, Bandbox are about a year, year and a half old now, and um, they're based in Riska, uh, run by the awesome Pete, and I'm basically going to be going up there when I've got time between uni and work and blah de blah de blah, and doing some shop demos for you. So they'll be going on my channel as well as the Bandbox channel, which will be coming up, and the Facebook page, and it will be thrown all over your internet screen. So keep up. Okay. <laughs> There. Keep up to date uh, through Facebook, whatever. Um, I'm going to be posting a load of links below along with the dates for this tour. Um, please like, share, comment, do what you want with this video. Um, whatever you do, I will be grateful. So, thanks very much, guys, and peace out. <laughs>